From a product perspective, there were two. I think they were able to go from nobody knowing about them to them being like, frankly, in many circles, better known than Claude, right? Like my great aunt was calling me about deep sick. I'm not even joking. Like, what do you think they did to break through that maybe Claude hadn't? Frankly, and, and I've had this conversation with our marketing team as well. Like, I don't think we tell the Claude story well enough externally yet around what is different or what is notable about the fact that, you know, take Claude 3, we were training a model at the frontier that was state of the art with a team that was much, much, much smaller than any other lab, right? And the second part on the product, like they went from not having a product to having like an iOS app that actually had a lot of like good details. And for me, it was like a good like shove around like, we need to be getting some of the ideas out to market quicker without, to your earlier question, focusing as much on exactly the polish that it needs to happen in every situation and instead be willing to put it out there and learn because sometimes the novelty of experience is itself valuable, right? It was the first time most people experienced the sort of live chain of thought. That's interesting. And like, I wish we had done that sooner because it would have been novel for people to experience that.